In this video, I want to show you how you can easily add annotations to your line charts in Power BI without using any DAX at all. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So annotations is a good way to incorporate within your Power BI reports. If you want to highlight certain events that might have happened, it's usually a good idea if you want to point out certain events that might have affected your data point going on an uptrend or a downtrend to find some kind of analysis and insights through that. And today I want to show you how you can easily add these annotations as long as you know which dates they fall under without using any DAX code and just using some simple formatting tricks available for you out of the box in Power BI. So first here is the model that we're going to be working with today. It's a very simple one, which is using the Northwind Traders dataset, which is a, a company that sells grocery goods internationally. We're just using a few tables from their data sets. We have the categories of the products that they sell, the order details, along with the unit price and quantity of all the products within the orders. We have the orders themselves when they were ordered, as well as the product's name with those orders. I've added a few other things here, like the calendar table, which just has a date and a month fields in them, as well as calculations measure table, which has the sales measure, which calculates it by multiplying the unit price and quantity. So let's start by just visualizing this into a line chart. So I'm going to drag in the month and I'm going to drag in the sales measure here, changes into a line chart, something like this. So as you can see here, the sales or the total sales month on month changes depending on the different months in this period that we have here. But let's say, for example, we want to find an explanation or we want to convey an explanation as to why the increase happened here from November 1997. This means that we, we want to add some text here to show that, oh, something happened here. There might have been a sale or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to visualize that. So if you have it already, then it's great. So we can start working on it. So I don't have a table at the moment, which will have the list of events and the dates. And this is probably the easiest way that you would want this implemented just because it means that you can add some more events in the future. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to create that events table. I'm going to do that by just clicking enter here. I'm going to add a few dates here. So I'm going to say 1996. I'm going to call this one dates. This one events. And I'm just going to say this is winter sale. It's just going to be some random dates that I've thought up just so that we can visualize them in our line chart. So 1997 is our first newsletter. 1-11-1997. Let's say bank holiday sale. And then 1st of March 1998 marketing event. Now we're going to name this one the events table and we're going to hit edit just because we need to make sure that they are in the right format that we need. So we're going to change this into a date type column, hit close. And then we're going to make sure that there is a relationship between the events table that we've just created with the calendar table that we have set up so that the events and the orders will have something that they are related to. So the next thing that we need to do from here is to basically change the custom label for our line chart. So if you select the, and enable the data label here, you will see that the labels just get added into the line charts. No problem. However, we don't really, or we aren't really too interested in the sales as a label. For now, what we want to do or the objective of this is to just add the labels of the events. And to do that is actually pretty simple. It's the latest feature that they've added recently called custom labels. You'll find it under data labels. If you expand values, you will have this new option, custom label. If you turn that on, you'll see everything will disappear. And that's because anything that you put in this field well will be the one that will be used in the data label. So if you just hit add data here and go to events and click the event here that you want to visualize, it will automatically aggregate here. It'll say first event. 
but because it understands which date that is in the current context. As you can see, it's already automatically adding those events here in our line chart. However, you might be noticing a few things here, like for example, you know, we, we've added four events, but we can only see two. And that's because sometimes the density of the labels prevent some labels to not show up. So all you need to do from here is, for example, just increase this label density to 100%. That will show as much as it can. So perhaps maybe you will see as I increase or decrease the size of this chart, some of them will show up in here as well. So the last thing that you might want to add is to add some space between some of these labels. So they might be a bit too close to the line charts, or you might not know specifically which part of the line chart is referring to. The Power BI team has also added this new feature called leader lines. You'll find it under the same option and under data labels. If you enable that and create an offset, I think adjust the maximum or add the minimum you'll see that, let's just try to increase it. You'll see that now you can see those labels much easier because they're a bit farther from the line chart. And at the same time, you have those leader lines pointing to the areas within the line chart that it's referring to. So it's a lot easier for you now to identify, let's say, for example, when the bank holiday sale has happened. So which month that is, what the sales were for that month. And that's really it for this very short video. I hope this wasn't too simplistic of a, a tutorial for you guys. I just thought that I'd cover this because there are a few instances where I wanted to implement this. And I found a few solutions online, but with the recent changes that uh, Power BI has implemented, all of these kind of solutions have become much easier and especially without using any DAX code at all. So I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I have to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.